Hey guys, so I think that I did a video like this when I had the Jeep Gladiator, um, but I didn't do one with the Ram because I didn't have the ability to do one with the Ram until now. So let's talk about headlights again, specifically aftermarket LED bulbs in halogen housings versus factory LED housings because that's kind of a, uh, an issue that comes up a lot on the forums and on the owners groups when people are buying a Ram and they're doing the research and they're shopping, they're trying to decide whether it's worth it or not to pay all that extra money to get the factory LEDs. Well, this new truck that I've got has factory LEDs and the previous Ram had the halogens, which I put really expensive LED bulbs in. So I thought it would be really neat to uh, actually compare them. And I'll show you some footage that I shot a couple of years ago. Um, now granted it was in the middle of winter, but you know, the same gravel road out here that I'm gonna be going down in the truck tonight. I drove down a couple of years ago in the other Ram. Now that Ram, obviously, like I said, I had the really expensive Supernova uh, LED bulbs in the halogen housings. And so I can show you the difference between the two. And I think it's going to be really interesting. So uh, the other thing I will mention real quick, though, is on the Ram 1500s, you've got three different options. Obviously, the base option is the halogens. But then you go up to the uh, reflector LEDs, which is what I have in the Laramie. If you step on up to the limiteds, you can actually get a projector LED headlight. Uh, so there's three different options. If you want to look at it like level one, level two, level three, these LEDs that I have in my new Ram are level two. Okay, so this is your, uh, your uh, entry level LED factory housings, which I really love personally. Uh, but anyway, let's get to some old footage. Okay, this is going to be the halogen housings with the really awesome supernova bulbs popped into them. And then... We'll go out here and we'll drive tonight on the same road with the factory LED housings. So you can kind of uh, get an idea of how they stack up. Well, it has begun. The ice storm has hit. Our power went out at about 4.55 a.m. this morning. So we have no electricity. No telling when we're gonna get electricity because you know these ice storms hit large areas. Like a big chunk of the state is being hit right now by this storm so the power company has their hands full you know they've got power outages everywhere uh, last time we got hit like this it was at least a week I know before we had electricity again so I'm not gonna shoot a lot of video right now I'm gonna try and conserve the battery power on my phone um, I'm gonna go down here to this hill that you guys see me scrape with the tractor I'm gonna put some more salt on it just in case we need emergency vehicles to get up here we do have some neighbors up here. There's maybe a half dozen houses along this road. So just in case we need to get an ambulance or fire truck or utility vehicle or whatever up here, I'm gonna go salt this again. Uh, but yeah, today I'm just gonna be working on getting the generator wired up to, I don't, I, what I should do is wire up my fuse panel so I can just connect the generator to my fuse panel and run my house. That's definitely on my to-do list. But for now, I'm just gonna have to hook it up to some extension cords to run in the house, try to keep the refrigerator going to keep our food cold and maybe run a lamp or a space heater. All right, it's getting pretty dark, so let's take a ride. So these LEDs, as you can see, have a super sharp cutoff and I'm kind of going down a hill, so that's why the, the beam's not really getting out there right now. But as I make this left-hand turn right here, we'll be on a straight stretch without a hill. But look up in the trees. You can see up in the trees there just how razor sharp that upper cutoff is that I'm talking about. So that previous video from a couple of years ago, this was the section right here of the lane that I was driving down. And, uh, you know, you can kind of see that it's pretty bright, but there's not a super intense hot spot right in the middle of the beam pattern. And the main difference here is just the upper cutoff. We keep talking about that, but you know, that's what allows you to run these really intense LED bulbs out on the highway because you're not gonna be 
getting flashed by oncoming traffic uh, if you've got a really proper beam pattern like this. So as I head down the lane here, you can check out these LED reflector headlights in the Ram 1500. I will say it does do a good job of lighting up the sides of the road. I mean, it's just as intense over here as it is out here in front of me, you know? And that's pretty awesome. Especially if you live in a rural area like I do where you have deer and other animals that have a tendency to jump out in front of you. Having good light output over here on the sides can really help you to have a little bit more advance notice that that may happen and hopefully avoid hitting the animal. So no they're not quite as bright. Hey there goes a possum. Do you see that possum? <laughs> there you go. Uh, but anyway I was just gonna say they're not quite as bright but they're still pretty bright. Um, so beam pattern is the big deal when you go factory. And of course we should mention that when you get the factory LEDs, you do also get a much better looking housing. You know, you got these really nice halos here that function as DRLs during the day. And I mean, the whole assembly just does look a lot better if that matters to you. So I think what you can see there pretty clearly is that the supernova LED bulbs and the halogen housings are actually brighter than the factory LED housings. The output that you get from them, the intensity of the light is actually stronger. Uh, you could see a very obvious hot spot right there in the middle of the beam pattern, uh, right down there on the lane of the road, a very intense hot spot right in the middle, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so, you know, you got that really white color, which is pretty standard with LEDs. Uh, but mainly the thing I want to focus on is just how bright they are. I mean, they really put out a lot of light. Um, the downside to it is that the beam pattern, the sharp cutoff at the top of the beam pattern, is not quite as razor sharp when you go that way and a lot of people are going to say well duh <laughs> but but i still think that those did a good job you know all things considered to take the halogen bulbs out of the housings and put led bulbs in the halogen housings um you know i still think that all things considered it produces a pretty good beam pattern and for the record i drove that truck for a long time like that and I never had issues. Nobody flashed me. You know, it wasn't glaring into oncoming traffic. Uh, the beam patterns are good, you know, and really just didn't have any trouble with it. Um, now, if you're looking at those LEDs, the factory LEDs, the opposite is true. They're not quite as bright. You don't get that intense hot spot in the middle of the beam pattern. You don't get quite as much output, uh, but you can very clearly see that razor sharp cutoff at the top of the beam pattern. Um, so obviously being designed as an LED housing, the beam pattern is gonna be sharper and it's going to be exactly what they want, uh, which is to have you know, absolutely no chance of glaring above the top of that cutoff. You know, so you're not going to have any glare up above that and you're never going to have uh, an issue where oncoming traffic is blinded and they're flashing you. Uh, now, like I said, I didn't have that issue with the aftermarket ones either, but you're definitely not going to have that issue if you go factory. So, you know, it just kind of depends on what you want. You know, do you want a good beam pattern and a great amount of light? Or do you want to have just a good amount of light and a great beam pattern? Um, I guess that's the decision you have to make. Personally, 
I would save the money. And if, if, if it's just headlights, if we're just talking headlights, I would save the money and just put some LED bulbs in the halogen housings, you know, because you can do that for three or $400 instead of $1,400 and you get really good results. So that's the way I would go. Um, but this particular Laramie had the LED package on it. So all of the lights, the tail lights and everything are LED, uh, which is pretty cool. I do like that. So I don't mind them at all. I'm enjoying them. Um, and I'm really kind of glad that it came with that package because I didn't want to go through the hassle of taking the front end of the, of the truck apart to put bulbs in it again, <laughs> to be honest. It's a little bit of a job to do LEDs on these Rams, unlike the Jeep, which is a piece of cake. But anyway, so there you go. Um, it's kind of surprising that you can actually get more light output and still a pretty daggone good beam pattern. Uh, if you just buy the cheap entry-level headlights, the halogens, and throw you some good bulbs in there. And when I say good bulbs, I'm not talking about going on eBay or Amazon and buying $30 bulbs. You can't do that, guys. If you're going to do that, if you're going to get LED bulbs for your halogen housings, you got to go to some reputable vendor, you know, like Headlight Revolution or someplace like that where they truly test what they sell. Uh, you got to do that. You're going to spend a couple hundred bucks for a set of bulbs, but they have a lifetime warranty and it's worth it because then you're getting bulbs that are designed for this application. So I just want to put that out there too. You can't buy cheap LED bulbs if that's what you're going to do. But anyhow, uh, hopefully that helps you a little bit uh, if you're trying to make that decision. Is it worth it to get the LED housings? You'll just have to kind of decide what matters more to you, a perfect beam pattern or perfect light intensity. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.